Well, Bob, uh, shred, gumbo, severed, I guess myself. Hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, I know it's been a while. Sorry, trying to readjust things here. Uh, cooking stream. I've tried a different angle too, so please let me know how that goes. Green guy, yep. Oh, I forgot the, the music. Well, so cutting board goes hard. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, first... No. So, yeah. This is, this is probably, like, my favorite soup. Like, it's been a while since I've done this, I apologize. So I, I decided to go for a straight down angle this time. Just, to, so, just let me know how that go, uh, goes, guys, shit. So, I guess to start, uh, I'm gonna prep, prep the pot on low heat just for this. And as with, as with any good soup, Or bacon. Oh, hello, tiny boy. It's it's as soon as soon as the bacon is opened, he's always there. So you have a rasher. Chat, do I give him some? Wow. Never seen that cutting method before. I'm going the plastic as well. No, I, I, I'm only, I set aside the other half for whatever other cooking thing. Is that sometimes? Yeah. So we just chop up the bacon. I I just got this bacon on discount, so it's not not. Uh, not too um, structured, I guess, would be the best way to put it. Don't really eat much bacon. That's perfectly fine. You can admit this. I only do it so. Or I I do it because it adds a bit of meatiness to the the soup. Kind of balance it out a bit. Yeah, the packet was washed. Trust me, I'm not. I'm not silly with my with my health. I only lick my fingers every so often. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I cut I cut it in half like that, so that when I so that I can actually measure out half a package, as well as uh, when I when I freeze the other half, it kind of keeps the the bacon fats and moistures inside. I'm gonna sharpen this knife in a while. If you guys have any questions at all during this, please feel free to let me know. So it runs straight into the pot. Might be a tad high. You put the pot right behind me? This happens every time.
So right now I'm just washing my uh, my, my knife and cutting board because I only have the one of each right now. The other's in the wash. Which is fine. Proper, proper cleaning procedures and whatnot. Just give me a second. The, the chunks of bacon don't need to be super small. I put, I put it on the lowest heat because I need the most fat rendered as possible. Now, for this part, I usually just use a sweet onion because I always find it the best flavor for... I use a whole onion, maybe. What's with you? Don't wow at me. Yeah. Don't need a lot of because the stars of the show will be the bacon or the broccoli and the cheddar. We don't need like a huge amount of, of bacon and onion. I just do it for the added flavor. Recipes I've seen also call for celery and carrots, but I don't I don't I don't do that. I eat my onions like apples? That's impressive. I know my cutting methods are a bit unorthodox, but cut how you're comfortable with. If you think, oh, this funny green man this, did this on the internet, don't, don't copy me, please. I apologize that I haven't done this kind of thing in a very long time. Greatest sous chef there is? Yeah, exactly. I'm still thinking about releasing that one t-shirt design I came up with, but... What? Shark. when they skip it like this. Oh yeah, I already, I already have a shirt out there, Bob. I believe any expert uh, got one and Severed got one. Fingers not curled. I can never get that right. I've tried, tried as I might. I cannot get the, that technique right. Ow. 
onion juice in my eye. Hey, everybody cuts it differently, as long as you don't hurt yourself and as long as you cut an onion. And now I'm just checking for any, like, super large pieces. Because, yeah, you want to cut down, but you don't want, like... So we're going to wait for the little bit more fat to come out before we throw the onion in. Actually, I'm going to be right back. I always use the bowl method when I'm when I'm finished working with something. Can you guys hear the sizzle? Okay. Bacon ASMR. It's an easy, easy idea. Oh, never mind. This is a well produced stream, I swear. Thankfully, that magnet didn't fall in, so. So you want it so that there's like a little bit of, of bacon fat on the bottom. We're just gonna... Yes, yes, there's more onion than bacon right now, but the... The uh, fat's gonna be cooked, or the onion's gonna be cooked down. While we're waiting on that, let me just do a little bit of cleanup. catch I'm gonna sit around and do the rest so it doesn't affect me. Yeah, that's more than reasonable. It usually comes like the the cryness. I get I, I don't know how to put the quantify it as. Um usually it's when you cut one end of the onion. So if you cut one end and then walk away you should pro you probably will be fine. Cut many onions while modding streams. Nice. See, so yeah, while, while we wait for this to go down, I just use frozen broccoli. Like it's, you, you don't, you don't, when you're cooking things down into a soup, you don't really need to like, focus too much on quality. Don't know why I broke that open. I have another bag I have to get through. So for these, like, if you look, if you look at this, I'm holding the the blade upside down, by the way, just to show you. Um, you can use this part of the broccoli. Um, I I try to just to like use as much broccoli as possible. But if you cut it down small enough, you don't want huge chunks in your soup. I 
mean, they, they, they have their own flavor. Yes, it's not as sweet, but I mean, you get enough soft pieces and... Steamed broccoli, nice. You, put, ever, you ever pair that with uh, the cheese sauce? That shit's good. Thankfully, my counter is clean. At chicken rice, your broccoli and cheese, exactly. Sometimes you don't need to go out for your cheese. She's on its own, it's great, so. What does it need, Uni? Oh, we'll get to that. You don't add too much actually because of the, the saltiness of the of the bacon. Yeah, so for those who are unaware, I've actually done cooking streams several times. We've done chocolate chip cookies, we've done tuna melts, we've done chili con carne, carne? I can never say that right, this fix is gonna slap me silly. Um, who else? Welcome back, Bob. Usually you can just kind of eye, like, how much broccoli and cheese you need. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but the onion's getting a little bit more translucent, so... Usually a bag like this, maybe half of that, two thirds. That's enough. I, I, I would agree on this one, Fred, however, you need to uh, make sure that all, all the pieces are evenly tender, so... The smaller they are, the more uniform the tenderness can be. Uniformity in cooking is very key, however, being able to just kind of wing it, I think that's the glory in cooking. Because no two meals will end up the same, some might be worse than others, but overall it's, it's a culinary adventure. I see me. Oh no, I, I I totally get that shred. That's why that's why you should always train your kids to cook. Mainly because it's also a very handy skill in life. In life and in love. Because my dad always said the way to a woman's heart is through food, but I guess that can work with, work with anybody. Because if at least you know how to cook, shows you're a half decent human, able to fend for themselves. At least that's my opinion. Yeah, Severus, let's not encourage child, encourage child labor.
Oh, I get that shit. I'd sometimes... I, I, I wasn't always this way, and then I took um, cooking in... Well, my, my dad taught me a lot of it. But I also took cooking in... Uh, cooking in high school, and that kind of really opened my eyes to, like, all the different things you can do with food. And then in, in a... Um, in college, I took a night school course that was that was free of charge because they were offering. Um, they uh, you got the ring feet. Yep. Um, they they did a night school course based off of um, wine and spices, so that kind of put a little bit more of an edge on on my cooking. Not nothing I can nothing I can take to. But yeah, I mean, baking is a form of cooking. Don't get me wrong. Always remember to scrape the edges just in case. Well, I'm glad you were able to teach yourself, Shred. I could turn on an air fryer. <laughs> hey, Uni, if you ever like want, like, hey, how do how do I do this? Then, like, or does this goes to anybody? Like, I'm always down to help. I love cooking. Cooking is absolutely great. Or they're really, really trans. The onions are really translucent now. You want to kind of pace it out so that the bacon gets enough cook as well. You want the bacon to be done, but not too crispy. Unless you're like crispy in your, in your, in your soup, in which case, by all means go crispy. Just put the, the onion in a little bit later than, than I did. Um... I mean, one one day I'll do more baking. I have a couple of bananas in my freezer. I might do banana bread one day. I've never made honeycomb, so. Oh, I have to get up the flour. to see the absolute Canadian abnormality. It's everybody's favorite Canadian invention. Bagged milk. <laughs> Yep. When when you're when you're also as a quick note for when you're doing this, try try to get as much of the the like if you see if you see brown in the bottom of your pan, just try to scrape it as you're going, because it's it's still bacon flavor. Oops. No, so what what we use is this. I mean, you just you just cut off cut off the corner, and then you pin you you in order for it so it stops like how you pinch it, and you pour.
So yeah, now we're, we're, we're just waiting on the onions to finish. Stir quite vigorously because you don't want anything to stick into the bottom. But the reason I jostle the pot like this is to kind of get everything even. That way it, like, cooks evenly. Yeah, that's basically the entirety of our resistance gumbo. Bag milk and maple syrup. I mean, if that's what you cook with, Shred, that's what you cook with. <laughs> Jokes aside, I know what you mean. Also, I'm going to scare every single British people in my chat. Spices, ooh. I'm sorry, Gumbo. <laughs> no, that's right. It's just a stereotype that, uh, spice, like, England invaded the world for spices but don't know how to use it. That's just kind of the meme. Sure, but you guys also invented fairy bread, so eh. Combo, it's it's what uh <laughs> it's okay Bob, you know what? If it's your 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 country invented it, why don't you explain to Gumbo what fairy bread is? Things are starting to caramelize now, so it should be close to being done. It's not even sugar, it's it's sprinkles. Sprinkles are like flavored chalk. Maybe I'll Maybe I'll try to find like a Canadian dessert. Wasn't it like some sort of baked or like fried dough or something like that? It's not a donut, but I don't remember. I'll ask my mom. Can you think of any Canadian dessert? The Nimo bar. That's a good one. The Nimo bar. I don't know why I didn't think of that. The Nimo bars are great. You will make one of those one day. Yeah. And I'm not sure, did you guys hear that? The what bar? Nanaimo. Here, I'll spell it out. Nanaimo. Nanaimo. 
Okay, so she. I'm gonna just take off part of my headset here so she can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, basically, there was a food fair or county, ca fair. Count, county fair in Nanaimo, British Columbia, one of the provinces in Canada. Um, and somebody submitted the recipe for the Nanaimo bar, and it won. Now it's widely eaten by Canadians all over the province. Well, yeah, national treasure. Because we like our food. Like, Canadian cuisine is just mash three things together, and it's good. Poutine, Nanaimo bars, uh... Oh yeah, ketchup, ketchup chips were... Yeah, ketchup chips were can oh ketchup and all dressed chips were are Canadian. Beaver tail is Canadian too, yes. Um I don't know if they are. Anyhow. Everything is looking good, so I'm gonna actually take this. Scrape it all. I want to try to like squeeze as much fat out as possible. I don't think I've ever had a Lemington. What's a Lemington? Yeah, and if you if you see a Pop Tart versus a Toaster Strudel, always go for Toaster Strudel. They're the same, but one's a Pop Tart. Ow. I'll put the onion and stuff aside. And I know it says it's not butter, but I mean, it's margarine. You can use butter. <laughs> Little bitch. <laughs> That's all right. Take a bite? Okay. No. That's nasty, disgusting. Well, I did. I'm not gonna eat fairy bread without the sprinkles. So I'm also gonna take this time to kind of do like a final scraping of the bottom. Most, most of it will, most of this will come out anyways. But the, the butter will kind of help kind of break things up on the bottom. So we did butter. Yeah, stuff can be left on the side. It, it's all going in anyways. We just need to make a roux. Love a bitch. That is flour, yes. It's not cocaine gumbo. I know I turned my back on it for a split second, but it's just... I want to clean this stuff so I can actually use it. Just gonna make making a mild paste. 
out of butter and flour. The rue, or in Gobbo's terms, the rauks. I would taste it, but ta tasting raw, uh, raw, ow, raw flour is bad for you. Alright. Now for the best part. Half and half cream. Actually, I might add it. Just gonna add a bit more butter. Oh yeah, no, that's that's actually true gumbo. A fun fact, if your spaghetti is actually uh, quite acidic, put a little bit of butter in your spaghetti sauce. It'll help cut down the, um, the acid reflex the next day. Might miss an ingredient here. Shit. Hey Milo, how's it going? Oh, damn it. Am I going to do this then? a slim pull on my end but you guys you guys can do it yeah all right 50 followers nice congrats on that well deserved in my opinion Anyhow, sorry, I to, we're going to be, be doing you got to do this slowly. I'm using a third cup, by the way. It looks weird right now, but I promise you guys it's going to get better. As you can see, it's... Okay. 
Okay, this is, you know what, this is probably not gonna be as flavorful for me, but it's gonna be whatever. I can do. It already looks nice. Oh, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. There's there's two cups of cream here. And I, I, I use a tiny whisk just to break up all the smaller clumps as best as possible for the time being. I'm already hungry. Hm. Alright, take care Milo. Hope you have a good one. Now normally this is why I kind of prepared milk just in case, but what I would what I would usually do is do like single cup of uh, a single cup of cream and a single cup of milk but what I'm gonna do is because because I royally screwed up and forgot the the chicken broth because it's supposed to be two two cups of cream two cups of chicken broth or oh, sorry Two cups of chicken broth, one cup cream, one cup milk to kind of break down the richness of the original. I'm going to do three cups of cream, two cups of milk. I know the math is not there, but trust me on it. Now, two cups of cream, one cup of water, two cups of milk. There we go. Got there eventually. Like I said, every every... Every every, uh, every cooking cooking moment is uh, an adventure. Oh no! It's 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 ninety percent heart, ten percent swearing. Anyways. The reason it's a slightly off-colored white is because now, now we're pulling up all the re uh, residual bacon. Pop a whisk. Hey, Prisix. How's it going? 100% house on fire. Yep. Alright. Now we're everybody's bagged milk. Somebody fucking left me nothing. Now, okay. Now everybody gets to learn. What we do with bagged milk. So you just make sure it's clean. Just slide it in there. One shake. There we go. And then we don't have scissors. Idiot way. This is gonna scare a lot of people. Right at knife. It's not the cleanest, but I mean it works. Why does this bag hate me today? Oh, never mind, I found him. Okay, now we can actually do this properly. See? Ooh. I get some ooh. Ah. Then you just tip it.
Now it looks very ready for now, but you guys will see. I'm also going to take this time. British jump scare. Now you can use garlic powder for this. However, if you're going to use garlic powder, you're going to you're going to have to use a lot or a lot more because garlic powder is a lot less fragrant and a lot less pungent than straight garlic. Whoops. Yeah, garlic is great. Anyways, we're just gonna let that sit in there. I've never, I've never had ro like straight roasted garlic cloves. I want to try it though. Anyways, now we're right back. Actually, give me a second. Well, yeah, uh, Bob, I don't have... By the way, that's more moist setup. Yes, that's Ericinator. Anyways. Oh, I forgot to add the water. Oops. Almost forgot. You mind, we're still on a, on a relatively low heat. Now this is my favorite part. Old cheddar. Most people don't like old cheddar because of its tang, but I think it adds to the soup a lot. Where's Noggin today? He's out, he's out of the house, that's why I'm able to do this. Hey Prophet, how's it going? Anyhow. Uh, we're eating quite a lot of cheese. What? Why is my Discord acting up? Anyways, we're... It's held the camera just a bit. It's basically almost the final assembly. I don't know about that gumbo. I just I just use this stuff. This this is real stuff, mind you. If you if you ever 
come in front of me using like the the, the sliced rip em plastic cheese, I can and will eat that package out of the, the balcony. You don't have a balcony front door works. Now normally it would be like an equivalent like cup, I think. Cup of cheese. But I, I like my cheese, so. This is already looking delicious. You guys, do you guys see the turning color? Now, salt. Pepper. Expendables. Anyways, one more, one more thing. Paprika. You don't go, you don't go crazy with this one. If you get it on your fingers, wash immediately. Do not touch your clothes; it will stain. Yeah, don't touch your eyes either. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do the uh, jump scare warning. I'm so, I'm sorry for all the. Anyways, this this is how I do my soup. Just keep in mind it was it's it was usually one 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 cream, one milk, uh, and then two cups of chicken broth. This is gonna be a very rich soup on my end. You wanna say hi to chat? Hi chat. Look at that. The bacon and onions? Bacon and onions? They're not. Bob says hello. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. No, there's there's Bob, Uni, Gumbo, Prophet, Marine, Chris, uh, Shred, Severed. I think Spick was in there somewhere. A bunch of <laughs> Did you hear that guy? She called you coconuts. Well, look at that, guys. That's that's hearty and delicious. I'm gonna swap from whisk to my spoon. So I can get the final scratchings at the bottom. Yep. <laughs> she does not gumbo. Anyways, normally, I've, I've served this up in a bread bowl. However, I'm just going to eat this with rye. I'm just letting it sit for a bit so that the the broccoli absorbs the, the flavors and all that good stuff. Oh wait, I forgot the one, the one crucial thing. Especially with this. Always soup and a psychic in your twitch. <laughs> Anyways, always always taste test your definitely missing salt, holy shit.
Like, do you guys, do you guys see this? Oh, Marin, you can watch the stream and make it yourself. Oh, but it's all it's all by taste if you prefer something a little bit salty add a bit more salt keep in mind you want to go less salt and then yeah, go from there because if you can't ever take salt out of something you've made like, like i said it's all based on preference Definitely not the same, but definitely not the same without the chicken broth, but still banging. And, uh, and if you guys are wondering what I'm going to be serving it with, we soft rye bread. Buttered, of course. I'm not a crazy person. Anyhow, anybody have any questions about uh, the soup or cooking in general? You know what? I deserve a treat. More oh, cheese. Can you put the recipe in this bread later start to make it? Yep, of course. Uh, in my pocket, in my coat. Back to that chair there. You going to bed? Right, have a good night. If you is it super one? No, it's it's super many. Like I'm not. Because I'm not sure if you guys can see like the pot size, but it's it's a relatively large pot. I'm gonna be packaging up a lot of this later and freezing it. You can freeze this soup, thankfully. Who cooks soup for one? I do sometimes. Like okay, like I said, one day maybe I'll make an angle bars. This is a this is a final thought for that. Final has a lot of pot. Shh, not on Twitch. But yes, I know what I actually don't do weed. But yeah, so, so this this is my favorite soup. I I've I've made this a good couple of times. And if, if you guys are going to package it, package it while it's warm and, that, and uh, put it immediately in the freezer. Because otherwise, otherwise it'll separate and or solidify. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm, I'm amused by the, the broccoli swirling. You can always uh, if you can always just check the consistency of, of the soup. If you want a thicker soup, uh, you add more you add a more roux of, of the flour and butter. If you want to run your soup, of course, add more liquid. How does one bag milk? That's a secret us Canadians are gonna take to the grave. So I'm just cleaning up here while you guys have any questions. You can, re you can uh, yeah, you can recombine it later, but it's just if you want to avoid separation, uh, freeze it while it's warm.
Did, ever, did, ever, did everybody enjoy watching this? Maybe, maybe one day, if, if, if it gets nice and warm, maybe one day coming soon, I'll do another Grill Dad stream. Oh, that's that's what I should make, Gumbo. I should make a grilled emote. Whoa! Grilled what stream? Probably sausages. I did get my favorite sausages on discount to me. Sun-dried tomato and basil. Oh, fuck. Did you fall? Uh, yes. I s there is no traction with this morph suit. Yeah, G Gumbo, can you DM, DM me later, uh, grilled? Cause that's a, that's that's an incredibly incredibly awesome idea for an emote. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna let's figure out. I apologize that it was a shorter cooking stream, but also keep in mind, I have not had lunch or dinner. So last time I ate was 7.30 in the morning. I recommend it. Yeah, yes, carry a, uh, either a chillet or a water type. Oh no, Gumbo, I will. I want it, I needed to wait till, uh, till Moist got out of the house because that's the reason why I don't do these streams. Because, like, like I said, Moist is, like, right there. I, I, I don't want to disturb him. I don't want him to disturb me. It's kind of like a, I have to wait till his friends invite him out kind of thing. Also, if anybody was wondering, I'm wearing jorts. <laughs> Gumbo, it's sad to say he has more friends than me, IRL. I'm gonna put this off of the. Yeah, uh, he's he. he uh, Moist has always had the the charisma of us two. I'm I'm not I'm not like. He, he, he's, he's definitely more introverted. Actually, you know what? I'll do a final shot of this. Soup. Anyhow. It's downstairs, Gumbo, but yeah. There's the raid message for you guys. If you don't got that emote, use whatever. Like I said, hope, hope everybody enjoyed watching soup being made. And I hope we, if you guys do cook it, that it turns out a lot better. Um, but yeah, if you guys ever want questions or recipes or anything, like I'm, I'm definitely, definitely down to help people. I'd, I'd rather people enjoy their meals than, you know. And, and enjoy, like enjoy your meals, because everybody only has like a certain. Uh, this is gonna sound grim. Everybody has a certain time in life, so you might as well fill your belly with all the goodness you can. Anyways, I appreciate everybody for being here. Take care of yourselves.